That's the power of the cameras of live people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> the last dance, right? I'm in the, so I've just finished it. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about it today. It's honestly the greatest sports documentary I've ever seen in my life. Really? That's a big statement. Big statement. And I stand by it. I have loved watching it. And I'll definitely watch it again in the, in the, in the, in the future. 100%. It, this won't be the only time I watch it. It is amazing. It literally, you, I watch it and it, it inspires me to just achieve greatness and just achieve excellence in no matter what I'm doing. Because if you see how much effort Michael Jordan put in, yeah, like, he, honest, he's honestly the GOAT. Honestly, has to be. Is this because, solely just focus on Michael Jordan? No, no. So it, it's based on, he is kind of like the, the the main person in the documentary that they focus on but it's about the whole team in general so they do they do talk about people's lives like so kind of like scotty pippen who was basically mike's number two dennis rodman steve kerr who is the current warriors coach so he the latest episode i watched so episode nine was it basically it focused it focused a bit on steve kerr and i didn't realize this right but so he won he won three championships with the bulls in 96 97 98 right and then the bulls team broke up and they tried to do a rebuild but he went to san antonio spurs and then won won it with them as well so he basically did a four p so he won it four years in a row and then won it again in 2003 with, with the spurs again but then has now won three more championships as a coach so he has eight nba championships in total and it's it's, it's amazing because you don't you don't really you don't really sometimes you always hear about michael jordan michael jordan and sometimes it's good to like learn about or to know other people's stories so kind of like it was it was amazing to hear about dennis rodman's story and his life and he's a nutter but i actually love him because i've never seen the one that went to make friends with yeah He's the one that went to North Korea. Yeah. I'm not surprised he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he is a madman. But he was he was himself and didn't apologize for that. He was just, this is me, take it or leave it. And I I loved that. Oh, yeah, it was just, I, it was good. I really enjoyed it. And just to... Uh, like to learn about some of the other players and how they fit into that into the whole storyline and stuff it was just fantastic it's honestly it's a fantastic documentary 10 episodes you will regret watching honestly you'll love it i loved it it does you, you don't have to be a basketball fan i was literally about to ask that or do you have to or like, do you think if if you're not someone who even cares about sports that it will make an impact i think if you're someone who wants to be inspired by someone trying to achieve greatness no matter like for example i can i can watch it so i may not be into like maybe another sport or another another maybe like music or whatever but if that person is trying to achieve something that is literally fun like excellence at, at something that has never been done before you will be fascinated i will be fascinated by it and it doesn't matter what it is necessarily as far as it's like wow this has actually never been done before and someone is about to do this so maybe it's because i like basketball and i'm and, and but i also do think that whether you like basketball or not you will appreciate the documentary and i may be wrong maybe people look at it like nah they may watch a couple of episodes and be like, nah, this is only for basketball fans. But I honestly generally believe that anyone can can watch it and enjoy it and appreciate someone striving for greatness. That's what I believe. <laughs>